Don Townswick, one stock you like over at Conning is Cummins. Now, the engine maker has done fairly well so far this year. Uh, I think it's up around 14% so far. Uh, but it actually missed its fourth quarter estimates. Uh, why do you think they're going to do well going forward? Well, Cummins is going to benefit from something that we haven't seen in several years, and that is fiscal contribution to uh, GDP. After, the, uh, after this most recent omnibus bill was passed, we see a contribution for the first time since the sequester that we saw back in, in 2011. And so a lot of capital goods stocks, including Cummins, they provide engines to both the, civi the civilian and to the military marketplace. And so they're, they're going to succeed because of increased fiscal spending going forward, even though they missed their estimates historically. If you look at the entire group, they've done well since last September 30th and have outpaced the market by quite a bit. All right, well, speaking of the military marketplace, you also like Lockheed Martin. Now, it pays a nice 3% dividend. Is that why you like it? Well, that's one of the reasons that we like it. They're also building in a lot of efficiencies into their satellite market as well. They're talking about building satellites at a lower cost in 40% less time, which is going to give them more throughput. And satellites are a big part of the military market. So that's one of the reasons we like Lockheed Martin, in addition to the fact that they're relatively low leverage and they generate a significant amount of free cash flow and have done it consistently for several years. And you're also a fan of McDonald's. Now, McDonald's was written off for dead or its real estate not too long ago, but it made a really nice comeback. Yes. What takes it further from here? I know they're doing breakfast all day, but what else can they do? Well, the breakfast all day is a big thing, actually. I think that was a home run for McDonald's. And I think that they're continuing to restructure in such a way that's going to continue to allow them to generate free cash flow. One of the reasons that we like free cash flow at Conning is that free cash flow can flow right into the dividend stream. So it tends to pile up, and once they get to a certain level of dividends and they want to, they want to raise that dividend, they have the capability to do that. And one of the hallmarks of our strategy is a company which raises its dividends tends to outperform. All right, well, speaking of dividends, you also like Philip Morris. Yes. They pay a dividend over 4% right now. Vice stocks have done very well since the start of the year. I think Phil, Philip Morris is up around 7% year to date. What's going to take that one higher? Philip Morris benefits from having entirely international exposure for its business. And vice stocks, particularly overseas, have done very well in terms of growing their, their market and growing their market share. We're literally talking about billions of people that Philip Morris can sell to versus the 300 or so million in the U.S. So that market is not penetrated nearly as much as the U.S. market, gives Philip Morris the opportunity to build more free cash flow, and once again, to maintain and raise their dividends. All right, well, thanks a lot for coming on and talk about it. Thank you. And thank you for watching the street.